I, it says we're supposed to be doing politics. Let's actually get into politics. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> um, okay. Um, you know what? I ignoring the, the Wicca one, but the, the, two, the two above and below, the one above and below. You know, price of gas and what we're trying to turn the issues in the selection into. Any thoughts on that, either of you? Uh, I think that would get into a very, very long discussion. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the key issues, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that that should be a key issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for, the, for those who are wondering what we're, we're talking about, um, I, I, I'm getting sick of it. It, 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 it's yeah yeah okay we've said it we said it, but we're we're trying to turn this into a key issue the stupid you know condoms for Catholics and and birth control. It, it, like you notice both sides are trying to avoid the key issues they're trying to go oh no it's about gays in the military and it's about condoms for Catholics and and, and it's about whether abortions are right or wrong. Yeah, I, I, I find it silly that, uh, I think it's mostly the GOP race. Oh, no, 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 no. Obama's doing this shit, too. <laughs> well, I mean, he's, I mean, I think he's only touching on it because it's, it's being, it, it's being forced into an issue. I mean, I think the, the, the whole reason that this is being brought up is sort of as a distraction everything else that's going on. Yeah, that the, that the U.S. is a sinking ship. <laughs> we don't want to think about that. <laughs> we want to think about gay rights and abortion. Like, that, like that's any brighter. Than what. As crazy as it sounds and as jaded as those topics are in some circles, they probably are cheerier fields of light. <laughs> Because people think they know what the answer is on those. Uh, I do remember going well but in in the last election with um, Obama and uh, or the 2008 election. Was was there any touch on these issues? No, the 2008 election was pretty much hope versus conservatism. That was pretty much the 2008 election. Hope versus conservatism. Neither side really had a, you know, it, it, uh, yeah, neither side really had a sign. One side was, I'm going to be ultra conservative uh, with a hint of Christian. <laughs> and the other side was, I bring you hope. Could you elaborate? Hope. Could you be specific? Hope! <laughs> it was pick your fluff. It really was a pick your fluff. <laughs> Election, unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think we can all agree here that it's just kind of a distraction to how much the U.S. sucks. At the, moment. The, the, the U.S. doesn't suck, but the U.S. is is not having a good time right now. There are real problems and issues that need to be addressed and across the board, yeah, like you're saying, you know, rather the distraction is those rich SOBs or those uh, Catholics are being oppressed or uh, uh, why, why, yeah, there's First Amendment issues with the condoms for Catholics thing. I, I don't disagree. Uh, as somebody was pointed out in the comments to our last thing, um, and yeah, and, and yes, uh, civil liberties for all Americans, including homosexuals, is an issue in this country, and it's definitely one that should be addressed and dealt with. But not, it, it shouldn't be, I mean, in such a time of economic turmoil, this shouldn't be a fundamental issue in the political race. I mean, of course... Uh, people could argue that civil rights are, are a big issue, and I agree with that. But in such a time where uh, the economic and uh, 
government policies matter much more than the social policies that are being introduced, I think that this should be a fundamental issue. And I think that when one of these, uh, or one of either side wins the presidency, a lot of the things that they do economically and in terms of government will be kind of in the background and, you know, not be talked about. Well, and, and that goes to the other, the other issue here, you know, it, it's, and like this one is coming from the GOP side, you know, I, 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 I have to laugh at this. Inevitably, we get around to blaming in this country. Inevitably, we get around to blaming the president of the United States for the price of gasoline that goes into uh, price for gasoline and diesel that goes into our engines, and why a certain percentage of that price comes from uh, government regulations and other things. The the reality is that that's not the primary driving factor. It can have an effect, but it's not the prime. And you know, it's like I I. I, I remember during Bush, you know, all the Democrats were going around going, we ought to do something about Bush and the price of oil. And now the Republicans are running around going, Obama's policies are making your gasoline more expensive. And I'm just like, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> wait. I think it's, it's kind of like... Um You know what? Over here, we don't worry about making people mad. They're gonna get mad anyways. You've been talking. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> say it. No, but I, I think they're being so desperate that they have ha had to resort to these measures because Obama hasn't really started his. Uh, well, he might have started it. But, hey, uh, uh, bullshit, Obama! Yeah. Instead of instead of being. Uh, in the White House are, are going around being a president. Obama is Jerry hopping around the country, going from city to city, schmoozing and so no, Obama is in campaign mode. Let's be honest here. Let's look. No, nothing is going to get done in Washington or in the executive branch until after November. In which case, if Obama gets voted out, it's going to be 60 days of what can we get past before we leave? If Obama has four more years, depending on the shape of the Congress, will depend what that, what happens in those... Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I, I think they're just, they're just trying to pick at things that Obama does... Or not necessarily what he does wrong, because he didn't I, I, you know what? I didn't even ask you on this before we got started. Uh, do you tend to lean more Republican, Democrat, Independent? Um, well, personally, I think all the candidates are idiots, but uh, I, 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 I lean towards the leftist agenda, of course, because you know my views. So I lean towards that agenda, but on... Uh, of course, I, I like to, uh, whenever I see an issue, if I am proven wrong, whether or not it's a right-wing ideal or a left-wing ideal, I, I really don't. Uh, you already hear, but, folks, Obama's got the communist vote. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm, not a, I'm not, of course, I'm not 18, so I can't vote. But, you know, if I could vote, I would vote for Obama simply for the fact that I don't want the GOP to win. It's not that I want Obama to win, it's that I don't want the, any of the GOP candidates. You know, the, <laughs> the fact you're hitting on there, that has been the last three elections in the United States. <laughs> uh, it, 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 it really has. Uh, it really going, there's been a few elections before, but definitely the last three. This election, the... Came, uh, you know, the the um, uh, 2008 and the second Bush election, all three of them, regardless of what side you were on, it wasn't, I'm voting for this guy. It's, I don't want that guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and that's, you know, that, that's just, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> 
people aren't participating them in them is the joke because the reality is if we really had like 80 percent plus turnout it, it did uh, things would not go as far as they do you know it's if the American people were always on watch always doing their job always voting always uh, paying attention the, the, these th we would not have this situation. The reality is, though, they know we're not. You know, they know. Well, half of them aren't voting. Uh, uh, more than half of them aren't voting on, on the other election that really matters, and they're not paying attention, anyways. Except for those rare times they are, and then we'll all kind of go. Oh, 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 we promise to behave. Now go away and stop paying attention again. <laughs> uh. Honestly, I think both sides are trying to stay away from the economy for the simple fact of, okay, Obama's, at this point, it's, it's Obama's, uh, it's the Obama campaign's country. So it's not, oh, those other guys did it. No, it, it, at this point, it's, it's Obama's country. So... The, the 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 economy is Obama's, you know. Even though at the end of the day, the president is not the primary driving force there. This economy is his Obama. So if you run a campaign based on the economy, um, you, you you can't run on what you've done because what you've done hasn't fixed the economy. Uh, and from the Republican side, you really don't want to touch that one that much either, even though, like you're saying, it's the primary issue, because you don't really want to associate with, you just basically, basically both sides are about making sure the blame for all the country's problems are squarely on that side of the aisle. That's, that's this campaign. <laughs> on both sides. That James, you, you've been strangely silent or we keep cutting you off. I don't know which. James? Sorry, uh, the person called me. Oh. Anyway. Um, well, I actually, I, I tried to ask this before, but I didn't get an answer. Uh, you said that you don't like any of the GOP. Um, what do you think about Ron Paul? I like your answer for that. Okay, uh, I most of the of the comments made towards the civil liberties, I can agree with some of them. Or some of them I don't like. Uh, pro life, uh, gay marriage, that sort of thing. But uh, for the most part, I think he is the best the GOP can there is. But, of course, since economically I am a leftist, his economic policies do not comply. But uh, he does seem to be the most sane GOP candidate, but it seems as if he's not going to win uh, the... Uh, uh, you, actually, we did the math on that, and the reality is all of them, all four of the GOPs who are still in it, need about half the votes that are outstanding to get the nomination. So the reality is, math-wise, it's still anybody's game. Yeah, and that, they, now, if you follow the media, it, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a Romney nuke. Oh, oh wait a minute, it's, it's a Romney Santorum. Oh, wait a minute, it, it's a... a <laughs> you know, basically every time there's a big win, they change. Oh, it's definitely these two. <laughs> really, 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 really hope it's not Santora. I really do. <laughs> yeah, I, I would agree that most of the GOP people are really bad, but I do happen to like Ron Paul, and I can understand why you don't. If you do believe in a more in a 
more socialist society, and I don't say that as a bad thing. There's very good things about that, and there's very good intentions to that. Um, there's good I'm intentions? Not, yeah. <laughs> that's, you know. there's, 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 that, that's, a, that's a very good reason to not like Ron Paul, because he is definitely not uh, that kind of economic person. He doesn't believe in that kind of economic plan, but I do like... Um, I, I do, you know, I'm on a weird side of the fence where if we could have a zeitgeist like society, uh, it, for a lot of the parts that work with it, I think that that would be great. And same with socialism, but as far as practicality, I don't believe that that's possible with humans for a long time. And what's practical right now to, for the American economy, that would actually help us you know, get our economy back so that we could actually even think about having this socialist, uh, in a good way, society. Um, I think that Ron Paul's plan has the best chance to actually help. Well, I, 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 the really funny thing about that, if you go back and read, like, the, the Marxist stuff and, and so on, you want to hear the crazy thing? Ultimately, that society is supposed to evolve out of the pinnacle of a capitalistic society, uh, which is is the really funny thing. And everybody's like, well, let's just skip the capitalistic step. It's like, actually, that's kind of quintessential to getting there. But it, it, anyways, um, but the, the other thing is, like you're saying, it, it, it's, can you get there? Here, um, and, and this really shows the, the, the age, the three age groups we have here. Um, when you're young, you believe in utopia. Uh, as you grow up and you start to experience, and I, I, I'm not saying nobody's, I'm not like, but I, okay, this is going to like sound cruel, I'm not saying, as, as you grow up and, and experience a little more of the world, you become a little bit more of a cynic, and you're like, that's a nice idea, but it's just people are people. Uh, and then you you become a real cynic and you have no faith in people and you just you're like oh no people are people it's like I miss I, you know I miss being you I'm so but it's like I just, um and, and that that sounds condescending and silent. that's not a, that's not how it's meant but there's there's a good age difference between the three of us and um. Now, here's the thing. We uh, th this is why I'm going to say why I don't like a socialistic society. Nobody who supports a socialistic society has ever been able to answer this question to me, and I'll ask it to you. How do you enforce? Because a, a socialistic society is enforced by a central authority. So how do you have that central authority enforce its socialistic society? without in any way, shape, or form encroaching on anybody's civil liberties. Because at the end of the day, for it to enforce its socialistic society, it has to tell a lot of people, no, you can't do that. You can't make that decision for yourself. We need to make it for you. Uh, well, a, a lot of these uh, problems, or a lot of these uh, policies that would be enforced under a socialist society don't necessarily uh, affect the liberties of individuals, like the freedom of speech, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it does affect the. Uh, it affects my ability to. I mean, I work for myself, and my ability to do that uh, in many models of a socialistic society could be very greatly hindered. Well, going on with what I was. That was it, it, it more it more infringes, you could say, um, if you want to call it a bad thing. It more infringes on the rights of business, and I I think that which the, it which is the rights of individuals because one of the best things about this country is anybody can go into business for themselves. Nobody will hire you. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to starve. Be, uh, need to be regulated. For example, in a 
free market society, there is no guarantee of uh, of ensuring that the company will not have an environmental impact. For example, global warming. There's a lot of people that say it's not true, but science shows it, it, it happens. Uh, we could have an hour conversation on that, but okay. Well, okay, fine. Then I won't say global warming, but uh, the, okay, here's a modern example. Chevron in Ecuador. Ecuador had a free market policy at the time. I, I, I know what you're getting at, because in, in a purely capitalistic society, you can over harvest rape plunge and pillar and, and basically you know shit where you sleep and if you shit where you sleep enough well then you can't sleep there anymore uh, and, and that that uh, now in a capitalistic society well that forces a correction thing because now you can't shit there anymore and you can't sleep there anymore and it's basically worthless to everybody now it now, it, that sounds good, but when you get to the point of if you've really acted contrary to your own best interests to that degree, um, the forced correction is a rather dramatic one. I, 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 I think that's what you're getting at there. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if it isn't a company's best interest to harm uh, others, or not necessarily harm others, but harm other countries or other companies, then they will do it. It's well, like no, I, 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 actually, that's the really funny thing, and that's what I love about game theory. Pure, pure Marxist. Uh, no, I mean, not Marxist. Uh, God damn it. Um, John, God, what's his name? Uh, I've been out of school too long. John, uh, not, not... I, I can't remember his name. Captain Capitalism. John, whatever. You know, the, the free, you know, just do whatever you want. You, 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 the, the invisible hand sign. You know, then that, that's what you're talking about. You know, it's like, it's in my best interest to harm you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harm you. Um, uh, game theory says uh, that's bullshit. Uh, you know, it's basically, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. If I, what's in my best interest is to maintain my habitat, to maintain the equilibrium that allows me to have my best interests. You know, I, I don't want to rape, plunge, pun, uh, rape, plunder, and plunder my customers. I want to give them a job so they have more money to give me more money. Uh, but, uh, but there's, there's been a fundamental change in the, in, in the way that businesses invest and make money. And that's this is a very huge change that I, I haven't seen much capitalists touch on, is that more businesses now, more than ever, are going for short-term profits rather than long-term profits. And these, uh, the long-term profits, of course, they are lower. And, but uh, they the, the, the ones that are being publicized, I fully agree with you. Uh, it's uh, the businesses that are holding in and staying in. That's a lot of bullshit. We, we we are sitting back and laughing our asses off because we're like, oh, y'all want to live the '80s again? Yes, we remember the '80s. We also remember the uh, '40s. We remember it's like you know, basically, it's all been done before. Four. And, you know, there's there's young, there's companies who've forgotten that. <laughs> They're like, okay, go kill yourselves. Go right on ahead. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> so I, uh, the reason that I call myself a socialist is that I don't believe that in a society governed by the interest of gaining monetary benefit, they can be trusted to... Uh, use this incentive for for good because mainly if you don't or this also kind of applies no, right? no, go ahead and insult me that's okay I have thick skin <laughs> if, you, if you go to a certain country and it's well, I don't want to repeat what I'm saying but you kind of get with the 
gist of what I'm saying, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, what it comes down to, and this is why these two philosophies have such a hard time living with each other, is at the end of the day, uh, my core philosophy is I respect everybody's choice. Uh, and I hope they will choose to do what's in their own best interest, which happens to also be maintain the system in which they have a symbiotic relationship with. If they really do over-harvest and, and rape, plunge, and pillar, which may seem in the short run like it's in their best interest, in the long run, it's ultimately self-defeating. Uh, but I respect their right to choose to destroy themselves if they so wish. Uh, and the other one, and, and, and the reverse, you know, the, 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 the more socialistic side says, yeah, um, because we think you might make the wrong choice, we're going to take that choice away from you. You're free to make all the other choices, but that particular one, because we think you might make the wrong one, you can't do it. And the why I, I, I believe it's done with the best of it. I believe it's done adamantly with the best of intentions. And in theory, if 100% of humanity agreed about what the wrong choices were, that's a utopian society. But... Right. Does 100% of humanity agree about what the wrong choices are? Because at the end of the day, that is, you have to say, well, we're just going to keep you from making the wrong choices. Well, what are those, and who decides what those are? <laughs> yeah, well, that's, that's a different subject. But yeah, I, I mean, I can agree on that, and uh, I just want to comment that if the people who say that, uh, you know, they have the right to harm themselves in the process, while they're also harming others in the process, and that's what a lot of... Like I said, I can definitely see both sides, and like I said, I, 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 as I said, when you take yourself down, you inevitably take... It, it, it is a symbiotic system. There, this is, it, it's a concept humans, unfortunately, as a rule, have a hard time comprehending that they are part of the world in which they happen to habitate. Uh, it's, it, it's a very symbiotic, and that's in all things. That's not just with you know Mother Earth and everything else. That's with the economy, society, neighborhood, uh, the whole, all of it. You're you're very symbiotic with Sod. You may not like the asshole down the street, but I guarantee you, what the heck happens to them inevitably spills over into you, and vice versa. It's it is a symbiotic thing. Uh, it, I, 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 go ahead. Yeah, yeah it, it, the disagreement is about how do we maintain the symbiosis and ultimately what decisions should and shouldn't be being made in regards to the symbiosis. Okay, anything else we want to go into? We've actually been going for almost two hours, or do we kind of want to stop off there and table the rest for next time? As far as me, I actually have to leave in a bit, so it would be a good time if we stopped now so that I could, you know. Okay. Uh, does that work for you, Zed?